The following is a presentation of the Belly Up Sports Media Network. What is up, everybody? We're coming at you with a new video today, but today's a little bit different. We're not going to be doing so much as commentating or previewing anything like that. We are going to jump into some trivia, play a little bit of a game, because we all love college football. We can't wait for college football season to start up. We've got to refresh our brains, so we're going to do a little bit of college football trivia today on Rising to the Occasion. Hey everybody, how are you doing today? We are excited to bring you some more content, some new content, something a little bit new, something a little different. We like to do this for a little bit of a Saturday special to kind of bring you guys something on Saturdays as we get ready for the big Saturdays coming up here in the fall. Uh, we're we're in the last month without college football, college football. We can officially say that. It's a lot of excitement, a lot of fun coming to you. Um, but before we do, let's go ahead and bring up our first sponsor today, and that is Mahler Bros Golf. Mahler Bros Golf is not only an amazing business that you should do, do some business with, but it's also an amazing business because we are powered by Mahler Bros Golf and I am the owner of Mahler Bros Golf. We have all kinds of stuff with Mahler Bros Golf, all kinds of polos, uh, all kinds of new stuff constantly dropping on there. And one of the newest things that we brought up was coffee. We mentioned this a little while back and as promised, we even have some here on display in the studio today. Uh, we've got some of this one's the Ace Blend, we've got the Birdie Blend, Bogey Blend, and a lot more coming to you from Mahler Bros Golf as far as coffee goes, uh, and just in general. But it's been a lot of fun, a lot of you know, a lot of excitement being able to bring extra stuff to uh, to Mahler Bros Golf and adding on a uh, kind of a golf brand, a golf branded uh, coffee was something that was really exciting for me because I love coffee. I love starting off my day with coffee. I love whenever I'm heading to, heading to the course, getting ready and starting my day in full swing teeing it off with a nice cup of coffee. And you can do that with all of our coffee. It is all specially brewed. It is a kind of small batch. So it's not like what you buy in these big stores. You go to Walmart, or Target, wherever you shop and go and buy coffee there. It's going to be a large batch coffee and it's not going to have the same quality as what we put into our coffee. So I'm very excited for you to try it. Go to mallabros.com slash coffee if you want to check out the coffee or just go over to mallabros.com and check out all that we have in all of the collections. Uh, you can check out all the polos, t-shirts, mugs, hats, and more. And we're going to have more mugs and stuff like that even pop up there. Maybe some bundles and stuff like that for you guys. And we're actually adding, we just added some single serve cups. So we've got the approach shot, flop shot, and I can't remember what the other shot is, but they're little shots, so little cups. But you can go check it out, mallabros.com. Check out everything we have there, all kinds of cool gear for coffee, and even getting your mornings started off right with some Mahler Bros Golf Coffee. But again, you can use code RISING2 for 10% off. That's R-I-S-I-N-G-T-O uh, for 10% off. So go ahead and check it out. But today I'm not alone. I'm not just going to be playing a game by myself. I've got a couple of my co-hosts with me. I've got Jeremy and Blake. Blake, let's start off with you, man. How's it going down in Alabama? It's hot. It's hot, fellas. It is hot. Uh, <laughs> but hey, I'm here. Uh, we're grinding, and, and I'm glad to be back on with you, fellas. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit of a new look too. So we're, you know, I don't know if we ever mentioned it, but we've had a new look to the studio. Got a darker wall behind us and everything. So I was added in a little bit ago. Got some new camera angles and stuff like that to play around with. So that way we kind of have a better look and everything. And then even just now, uh, just um, from what people can see on YouTube, uh, we just now <laughs> spent way more time with teasing Jeremy. I was like, man, we, I thought this was going to be a quick 15 minute process, but man, it was like constantly changing everything. But Trying to trying to make everything new, but Jeremy, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good after a little power nap that we took. Like we thought, fifteen minutes took two hours and fifteen minutes instead. <laughs> but um, doing pretty good. Glad to be back. Then ready to get a little different topic than what we usually do on. But it's gonna be fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah like I said, we're all huge on college football. We are very excited for college football to start. There's a lot of things going to be going on in, in the college football realm, especially when it comes to this show. We're going to be adding some more content and stuff like that and getting into college football a little more. We're going to dive into it, but today we're going to do some trivia. Uh, I really don't know how far back this trivia goes. So this is going to be some stuff that uh, it's going to be new to all of us because all I did was pull it up and check it out and see 
uh, if the, the questions seemed like they were curveball questions or easy ones, I haven't checked out any of the answers or nothing. I haven't even gone through any of the power, PowerPoint slides or anything. So I had to find one that didn't show the answers. Uh, and so that way, so that way, uh, I, I can't cheat or anything like that too. Dang. But, uh, we'll go ahead and jump into it, guys. Let's get some trivia going. We're going to start off with a question. Uh, this is an all time, uh, kind of question. So which team has the highest total of wins in the FBS, and I'll give you a multiple choice. We've got Notre Dame, Ohio State, Alabama, or Michigan. Blake, do you know the answer to this one? I'm going to go with Michigan, Josh. I like that one. That's that's kind of what I'm feeling. Jeremy? I was stuck between Michigan or Ohio State. It's, I- it's all four programs that are, you know, Notre Dame's, <laughs> Notre Dame's kind of my second place one because I'm not really sure. I feel like I know that they've got a lot of wins historically. But, uh, you know, even Ohio State and Alabama, two that have been really big lately. All these teams actually really turn any of them down. Yeah, it's, it's kind of tough. But you have an answer for? I'm going to go with Ohio State. You're going with Ohio State. Okay, so we've got one Ohio State and two from Michigan. I'm kind of wanting to switch mine to Notre Dame. I'm going to stick with Michigan. And we do have the Michigan Wolverines. Michigan Wolverines is the answer. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and tally it up. You'll see a little tally marker here on the screen for you. So we'll tally up all of our points and see who ends up with the most. How many questions do you guys want to do? However many you feel is right, brother. All right, we'll, yeah. just, keep, we'll just keep on rolling until it feels like it's, it's enough. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go on to the next question. Next question is, which team had the most players drafted in the first round of the NFL draft? Alabama, USC, Ohio State, or Miami? So this one's most players drafted in the first round of the NFL draft. Jeremy, you want to start us off with this one? Oh, boy. What was it again? Uh, so the most players drafted in the first round of the NFL draft. So overall, uh, all time, Alabama, USC, Ohio State, or Miami? Ooh. Um, I want to go with USC all, on this one. Well, what's that? All time? Yeah, this is all time, I believe. Okay. So I, okay. I don't see any okay. year or anything. So you're going USC? Why not? All right, I'm going to pick Alabama just because I feel like that feels right. Got to go with an SEC team, and they're the only one on the on the, the, the map. Uh, Blake, who are you picking? I'm going Ohio State. Ohio State? I like that one, too. I feel like, for me, it's between Alabama and Ohio State. I don't feel like Miami could be up there all time. Um, USC is a pretty good one, too, because I feel like they've had some big-time talent yeah. throughout the history. Let's see what the answer is. USC. Wow. All right. USC, so yeah. that was one of them. I, I, I was like third on my list. So. I was questioning yeah, that. I thought yeah, nice. Okay. I like that. Um, this even says, if you guessed anything other than USC Trojans, you were incorrect. USC had more first round draft picks than any other school in college football behind USC are Ohio State, Notre Dame, and then Miami, then Alabama. So you were actually much closer than I was. Does it give the number? No, it doesn't show. What the heck? But maybe we'll have to look that up afterwards and check it out. But, uh, next question. Which team has been to the most bowl games? Alabama, Texas, USC, or Nebraska? This one is tough. I'll go first. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess Nebraska just for the for the corn huskers out here in the Midwest. Uh, I feel like historically they've been to a lot. I know they're up there. I know, I know they're up in the and the top of the list, but I'm, I'm kind of split between Nebraska and Texas, but I think I'm going to go with Nebraska. Blake? I'll go with Alabama. You're going Alabama. All right, he's sticking with SEC. Ooh. Who are you going with? I was stuck between Alabama and Texas. I'm yeah, going to like Texas. I feel like Texas is a good good guess, too. Mm-hmm. But all right, let's see what the answer are. We got the Alabama Crimson Tide. There we go. Uh, they made forward. the most bowl games in FBS history with 62 bowl appearances. Behind them is Nebraska, then Texas. So we were both right there behind them. Uh, and then Georgia and Tennessee. Wow. So, yep. Well, all, all three of us pretty close on that one. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. yeah, it's, it is the Alabama Crimson Tide, which I feel like is – it just felt like it was too much of an easy answer. Um, but, no, a good one. <laughs> all right, next question. Which team has the highest winning percentage in the FBS? And it's – the team that I thought it was is not on – this list so really i'm actually wrong i'll just flat out guessing but which team has the highest winning percentage in the fbs is it notre dame alabama michigan or ohio state i love how it's basically all four of these teams 
uh, just over and over again. But Blake, we're going to start off with you, man. Notre Dame, Alabama, Michigan, or Ohio State? Highest winning percentage. I know Michigan's got the most wins, but winning percentage. Uh, let's go Ohio State. You're going Ohio State? I like that pick, Jerry. Yeah. Oh, boy. I'm going to go with Notre Dame. Notre Dame? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a good pick. I'm going to pick Michigan. So I know that they've got the okay. most wins. So I feel like if you oh, got so the most win. wins, you should have a better percentage, right? So you guys remember how much how many points you got? You got we're all at one. You got one. He's got two. He picked Michigan and yeah. Alabama. Oh, yeah. as two. I so we'll, we'll, maybe I'll tally that down yeah. here. Or uh, you want to pull something yeah. up maybe on your phone? We'll tally it up here. Yeah. So that way we can keep track of this. Yeah. See where we're at. So Blake's got two. I got one, and Jeremy's got one. Mm-hmm. All right, so you picked Notre Dame, mm-hmm. you picked Ohio State. Yep. I picked Michigan. The answer is it is Michigan. So Michigan wow. Wolverines have the highest winning percentage with 73.7 of their games since they started play. Behind them are Notre Dame, Boise State, Ohio State, and Alabama. So Notre Dame actually next in line. Mm-hmm. So pretty, pretty impressive. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like. I feel like if you've got the most wins, you've got to be up there for the best percentage, right? So that's why I picked them. So I guess now we got two to one, one and two. two. So we'll keep it going. Question number five. It's fun kind of going through and kind of seeing uh, seeing all of the all of the uh, mixed up uh, kind of questions of yeah. all all college football. I feel like I know the answer to this one. Which team has the most overall conference championships? Is it Ohio State, USC, Oklahoma, or Nebraska? Uh, let's see. I think it's you first. Oh man, I hate the on the spot. So, what were the options again? So, Oklahoma. most overall conference championships is Ohio State, USC, Oklahoma, or Nebraska. Ohio State. Ohio State. Uh, I'm going to pick Oklahoma. Uh, I'm going Oklahoma. Yeah, I was going Oklahoma. I just feel like they've been in the Big Twelve for so long. Uh, they yeah. won six in a row. That kind of put them up pretty high. I feel like I got to go with Oklahoma. Oklahoma's ahead of Nebraska by four. Let's go to the next question. We got uh, okay. So it says USC and Notre Dame first met back in 1926 when Newt Newt Rockney's uh, Fighting Irish defeated the USC Trojans 13 to 12. Which team has more wins in that series? Uh, let's see, was it me next? I just went so between two. USC and Notre Dame, who has more wins? Is it USC, Notre Dame, or is it a tie? Uh, and, man, that is tough because those are two historical programs that have, mm-hmm. and, and to think USC has kind of struggled here recently, they both really struggled. Yeah. Uh, you know, they both have kind of been up on. Uh, you mm-hmm. know, up on the, the top, kind of dropping down low. So, man, uh, I think I'm going to pick Notre Dame. Yeah, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna stick with Notre Dame. Blake? I'm going with the USC Trojans. Going with USC. USC, Notre Dame, or a tie? I'm going with USC. USC? All right, let's pull this up. Is Notre Dame. Okay, so Notre Dame wow. actually uh, is leading. Uh, the series has been back and forth in recent years, but USC dominated during the early two thousands. That's that's kind of what I what I was thinking. I know that they they dominated more in the early two thousands, but now Notre Dame holds that that uh, series by a pretty sizable margin. Now. Yeah. Oh, I had to like double check too and look it up. Yeah. Are you are you doing the the look up on your end, Blake? Yeah, on some of them. Yeah. Okay. So then once, once Notre Dame leads by like eleven games. Yeah. Yeah, because now, now I don't now I don't trust their their answers on this site here. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. But yeah. I also didn't want to look them up beforehand, or else I felt like, man, now I know the answers. So gotta gotta keep yeah. it fair. All right. So now we're gonna go over to Ohio State Michigan rivalry, which started in eighteen ninety seven when the Michigan Wolverines defeated the Buckeyes thirty four to zero, which 
has which team has more wins in this series? Like uh, Michigan. Michigan has more wins overall in the series. I feel like yeah. I should know this, but I'm kind of unsure about it. But Jeremy, I'll stay with Michigan. I'm I'm gonna go Michigan too because I feel like they had a lot more dominance there in the beginning. It just feels like Ohio State's leading because they've won so much recently. Um, but I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with Michigan as well. So I guess all three of us picking Michigan, and it is Michigan uh, based on this. So yeah, and then even based on that record, so there, it's definitely Michigan. Uh, who at least whenever this uh, this uh, was created, it says Ohio State has won five straight against the Wolverines since 2012. Jim Harbaugh has yet to pick up his first victory, so that's how we know that this is a little late. But it's, they have. They had a 58-48 and 6. It's 60 to 51 uh and 6 Michigan. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's a little behind then on this one. Yeah, just a little, a little bit. behind, but they need to update this this for me here. Can't expect me to be going through here guessing the wrong answers. So we all guess that one. We got that mm -hmm. down. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Next question. We've got the historic rivalry was born in uh, 1890 when the Navy Academy Defeated West Point twenty-four to zero. Which team has the series? Is it Navy, Army, or a tie? This one's pretty tough. So is it Navy or Army? Which one has the win? I'm gonna I'm gonna say they're probably not a tie. No. For me, I feel like it, it's not a tie. Whose turn is it? I'm going with uh, Navy. Me. I'm going with. Okay. Oh, you're going with Navy. All right. Who are you picking? Oh, I was picking Army. Yeah. You picked Navy. Mm -hmm. Blake. Yeah. You picked Navy yep. too? No, I picked Army. You picked Army. Man, you guys are splitting me up. Uh, Navy, Army. Army always runs that, that dip, but I'm going to go Army too. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to pick Army. So let's pick up Army. Right, Navy. It is Navy. 62 to 54. Wow. It is Navy. So, so let's see if let's see if this site has the right answer on that too. They do have Navy. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, man, that's it, it's a close matchup. It's not, not that far off. Uh, they're less than ten away. From yeah, Navy. Other, Navy did win like sixteen games in a row. So yeah, wow. You know. Yeah, I knew that, but I was thinking like, man, like Army's always tough though. Like I feel like I can't remember oh, yeah. a time when Army wasn't really tough to go against. Mm -hmm. So you know, yeah. it's like I was trying to think. I'm like, hey, man, I, I feel like this is gonna be a little bit of a trick because I'm thinking too much recent history. I got to go back in time. Mm -hmm. No, you were right. It is Navy. <clears throat> what's the What's the point? Totaling look like we got Blake at four, me at two, and you at four as well. Four, four, two. Okay, we're gonna have to keep on going to try to break this up a little bit. All right, the Red River rivalry was first played in 1900 and was first won by Texas by a score of 28 to two. Which team has more wins in the series? Is it Texas, Oklahoma, or a tie? Since I'm an Oklahoma fan, I'm not going to guess this one first. I'm gonna let Blake go ahead and start us off with this one. Oklahoma oh man! Uh, I feel like I know this one, so I don't. I don't want to lead you guys to the wrong answer or something. But I feel like I yeah. Know. I'm gonna go, uh, man. You got a guess on it, Jeremy? If you got a guess, um, you can spit it out there too. Let me let me let me go Texas. I'm gonna go Texas. You're gonna go Texas. Gonna go Texas? Which one are you gonna go, Jeremy? Oh, yeah. That's hard. It is it is difficult because like if you think even in the two thousands, Oklahoma's definitely definitely led the series in the two thousands. Mm -hmm. I can't remember for sure what the matchup was. I'm gonna stick with Boomer sooner. I'm You're sticking with Boomer sooner. Uh, I feel like I I should be going with Oklahoma, but I'm gonna pick Texas just because I. I think that they they had it so much more in the 1900s and so. The Oklahoma such, so guy. I, I'm, man, uh, before I click it in, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Texas. I'm, okay. gonna, I'm gonna stick with Texas, and it is it's Texas by 63 to 50. Man. So yeah, I, I knew that they they had the the margin earlier on in the in the rivalry. I feel like even before the 90s. It was really just all all Texas, right. uh, and then Oklahoma, of course, had their dynasty and was able to kind of start it off. And then since the two thousands, it just feels like Texas hasn't really been the same. They've had a, you know, of course, early two thousands they were good, but even kind of mid midway through the two thousands, uh, going up through. So yeah, Texas has 
the uh, the advantage on that one. Okay. And kind of crazy too. There's still 13 ahead of us. That's nice. So that's a that's a lopsided uh, lopsided little. I guess we're Texas's little brother. So I, I hate to admit it, but I, I guess that's how how it goes. All right, here we go. We're going to jump over to the Iron Bowl for Blake here. The Iron Bowl was first played in 1893, a game that was won by Auburn Tigers, 32 to 22 in the first matchup. Which team has more wins in the series? Do you want to start this off, or you want me to? You can. Uh, I'm going to pick Alabama. I feel like that's the right choice. I feel like Blake already knows what the answer is, so we'll let him go last. you got to pick before him. What do you think? You going to Auburn? Damn right. All right, so you're going Auburn, Blake. What's your what's your pick? Is it your Auburn it is Tigers the or? Alabama. It is the Alabama Crimson Tide. Is it for sure? Absolutely. All right, and it is the Tide by 12 wins, 49 to 37. All right, so I guess I picked it right. Man, Blake and I are still tied, aren't we? Yep. So we're still kind of <laughs> sitting there. I like these though. These are kind of fun going through these rivalries. It is Alabama. All right, Heisman. Let's go with some Heismans. All right, which schools have won the most Heisman trophies? Is it Ohio State, Notre Dame, both A and B, or none of the above? Uh, let's start off with Blake on this one. It is Ohio State. Did you better go? Let's try to turn it back on. There we go. I can hear you now. You got the battery Oh, I'm not sure. I think so. So, Heisman, uh, let's can you start hear me? with you, Blake. Yeah, I can hear you. I can okay, hear you now. Uh, it was just, oh, it was just my, my battery pack died on me, so I had to turn it off, turn it back on. He's giving me more batteries right now. Double edge or the which, which one are you picking? I'm going Ohio State. you going Ohio State? Yeah. All right, Ohio State. Jeremy, where are you going? I'm sticking with Blake. I'm, I'm going it's, Ohio it's State. It's Ohio State, right? Notre Dame, both, or none of the above. There's a part of me that wants to say Ohio State, but there's also a part of me that wants to say none of the above, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with Ohio State. You're going Ohio State? All right, mm-hmm. so you guys pick Ohio State. I am going to pick none of the above because I think Oklahoma has the most. I might be wrong, uh, but I'm going to say none of the above. No, no, no. Uh, yep, yep, you got it. Damn, I, I choked it. And you got it. It's did you already look it up? Was I right? Oh, USC, yeah, duh. I know. Uh, so oh. USC, they won eight. Yeah, so I was I was wrong by one, yeah. but I was right. So it is none of the above. Yeah. yeah, I forgot. I forgot USC has a bunch of them too. They're a sleeper team, though. I, I even forgot about them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, both yeah, of those teams too. Ohio State, and Notre Dame, both have a lot, but it is USC. Yeah, how many? How many does Ohio State have? Uh, they have five, I think. Really. I five. thought they had more than five. Six. How many is Heisman? I, I thought they had six, or at least six, more than six. Um, okay, so Ohio State, Oklahoma, Notre Dame have seven. So all three of them are actually tied. So, okay. okay so, and yeah, and, and, and Caleb Williams won it last year. Yeah, yeah. yeah so USC yeah. has eight. Yeah. So, man. Now we were all we were all kind of off on that, but I, I guess they're right only because I <laughs> yeah. thought Oklahoma had more. Uh, I, I was thinking Ohio State had had like six, five or six, but I guess mm-hmm. I guess how do you how do you count that though? Is is uh, Archie Griffin is is he counted as as a two different winners? Two time, yeah. I mean, two he's time. a two time winner. I mean, two time. But that's just the one only winner. the only guy to win it back to back. Yeah. But he's not. he's the, he's only one winner though, right? So I mean, how do you how do you count that? <laughs> Technically, yeah. <laughs> so Oklahoma's had more guys win it than Ohio State, but Ohio State has more winners. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. All right, we'll we'll go with it. So what's what's the tally on it now? Uh, Josh used to lead seven. Blake's to follow at six, and I'm bringing up the tail at two. Two, man, we got to pick up the pace here. This is why I stick to hockey, man. Yeah. All right. All right. But. Let's go with three more questions on this, guys. All right, so we got the next question is, in what year did Notre Dame legend Joe Montana first win his Heisman Trophy? Uh, let me make sure that this will refresh on me and not go away. All right, sweet. 
Uh, and what year did Notre Dame legend Joe Montana win his first Heisman Trophy? Is it 1979, 1977, or 1978? Or none of the above. Uh, I'll start us off with this one. I think Joe Montana... I kind of want to go none of the above just because I'm trying to think. I'm going to say 77. So I'm trying to think the time that he would have been in college. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of think it's it's a little before that though, like early seventies. But I'm gonna say seventy seven. Like, I'll go seventy eight. Seventy eight. You gonna yeah. cook tail or pick a new one? You got seventy nine, seventy eight, seventy seven. So seventy seven, seventy eight, seventy nine, or none of the above. I'm gonna go with none of the above. None of the above. All right. So I'm picking seventy seven. Oh uh, yeah. And it is none of the above, Joe Montana. What? Uh, got it. And let's see. He never won the Heisman. He was never a Heisman Trophy. Okay, so that was a total trick question. That was a complete surprise. Okay, yeah. Just the name. All right. All right. Yeah, that was that was kind of a shock. I, I I don't know why I was I was thinking like man I didn't realize that he won it, but I just figured like it was either going to be like not the right year or something like that. But something. Yeah, kind of tricky. Now time. you got you got one. You're catching up on this. They fooled us, guys. Man, we should know better than that. All right, here's an easy one for you. Who is the, who is or are the only athletes to have, to ever win two Heisman trophies? Archie Griffin, Johnny Manziel, Tim Tebow, or both B and C? Start off with you, Jeremy. Arch. Yep, Arch. Arch. I think we're I think we're all picking Arch because we know that's the right answer. We were just talking about this too, so we're ahead of you. We're right. <laughs> yeah. Archie Griffin. We all get a point for that one. Um, See what's what's the tally right now? Should we do two more to give him a chance, or let's do three? Three more. So yeah. What's what's the tally right now? Right now, Blake's in second. I'm in third. Then you're bring, you're in the lead. What's what's the points? eight eight? You're at eight. Blake's at seven, and I'm at four. Four. Okay, so we'll, we'll do three more then, I guess. <laughs> I feel like That's we fine. just said that. All right, let's do let's do it, boys. All right, who was the first African American to win the Heisman Trophy? Was it Jim Brown, Walter Payton? Barry Sanders or Ernie Davis? I want to start us off, and I'm going to oh. say Walter Payton. You're going to say you said Walter Payton. I'm saying Walter Payton. Um, I'll go Ernie Davis. I'll go for Walter Payton as well. Walter Payton. Blake was right. It was Ernie Davis. Uh-oh. Let's go. Look that one up. Make Uh-oh. sure they were right on it. It I'm, was, it was from, Ernie from Davis. Sarah. From Syracuse. Syracuse University, got yeah. leukemia and passed away. Yeah, that's that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. I didn't realize he was the first one. I was fi- I was figuring Walter Payton because he's got awards yeah. named after him and everything. I thought Jim Brown was another one, but that I, I was thinking of, but I can't remember if he if he uh, won the Heisman or not. He did not. Uh, he actually recruited Ernie Davis to Syracuse. Is that what it really? is? Really. All right. That's that's pretty fun one. All right, so. Blake's tied with me now, then, right? Mm-hmm. So we're giving, yeah, tie ball, giving, right? giving it a, a little bit of a, a nail biter here now. So, next question: Which of these Heisman Trophy winners won the award in the closest Heisman race in history? Is it Desmond Howard, Troy Smith, Mark Ingram, or Ricky Williams? Start off with the the closest Blake. Heisman race. The closest Heisman race. Read the question again. So which of these Heisman Trophy winners won the award in the closest race in history? So it was like the closest in in, uh, yeah. in overall the uh, voting. Right. So we got Desmond and Howard, Troy Smith, Mark Ingram, or Ricky Williams. I feel like I feel like I got my answer picked in. You got an idea? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Mark Ingram. You're gonna go Mark Ingram. I like that one. That was a pretty stacked yeah. class. Yeah. That's why I was kind of leaning towards this Ingram. Mark Ingram. I want to go Desmond Howard. That way Blake and I are picking the same one, and that's kind of the one I'm thinking of because I'm trying to think. I know Desmond Howard was like – I'm trying to think of who else was in that with him. But that's that's what I feel like. Uh, I feel like – plus if you got a, a a guy like Desmond Howard who's who's not one of your, your, normal, your normal positions and stuff to kind of put in, yeah. uh, you know, like your QBs and running backs are usually your two – that are going to win it, and yeah. I feel like he's he's not of that that category. So I feel like I'm going to pick him, uh, just for the for the sake that he's got to be pretty close. 
And you guys are right, it was Mark Ingram. So the closest race in history when he received more first place votes than uh, Stanford running back Toby Bernard won by a total of 28 votes. So he's 28 away. Wow. So Blake jumps back up in the lead. Final question. So Josh, this is the final one. So it's either we tie it up and have to go one more, or mm. Blake just takes it away with us. Uh, bonus question. So the Vanderbilt Commodores have a winning record against only one SEC team. Who is that? Is it Alabama, Auburn, Kentucky, or Missouri? Man. <laughs> All right. So, so Blake already knows this, so we can't we can't let him uh, take it over. Man, this is difficult for me. I'm gonna pick Missouri. Am I right, Blake? I guess we'll let's let's go, Jeremy first. Jeremy first. Read me the read me the options again. So they have a winning record against one SEC team. Is it Auburn, Alabama, Kentucky, or Missouri? I'm gonna go with you said Missouri. I said Missouri just because they've been in the SEC the least amount of time. Yeah. So that's the only the only method to my thinking. Read it again. So the Vanderbilt Commodores have a winning record against only one SEC team. Who is that team? Alabama, Auburn, Kentucky, or Missouri? I'm going Missouri. I'm going. In. I'll go with Kentucky. I'm going Kentucky. Blake? Um. Uh... I this, thought this I knew might it, not, but this might not be I'm, current too. I might have to look it up and make sure. Yeah. Uh, I look, uh, Vandy and Auburn. Um. So it was Kentucky, Kentucky Missouri. Missouri. I, Kentucky, I know. Missouri. I know. It's there's definitely not no way. Alabama. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not it's not Bama. Um, I know Auburn. I'm man. I thought I was so confident on this. Um, I thought for sure he would know by his celebration. Well, I thought he so was it, it may not be current, but at the time this so would have been done. With, so, so the reason I got excited is because we, I know Auburn was losing the series against Vandy, but uh, I remember we beat them a couple years ago. Um, Kentucky or Missouri? Uh, let's go Kentucky. You're going to go Kentucky? Go okay, Kentucky. so we were all wrong. Yeah. Blake was on the right trail. It would have been Auburn, but now they are tied 21-21. So currently they're tied. Yeah. So man, that's, that's see that's crazy. okay. So the reason I got excited is because we were losing to them. Yeah. All right. And um, we beat them. I, I think it was back in. I think it was like 2017 or something like that, or like right around in that area. It was a couple of years ago, and I think it was like I think they were up on us 21 to 20 in the series. And um, we beat them to tie it up 21 to 21 or something like that. I, it, it might be 11 to 11 now or something. I can't remember, but it's something like that. And that's why I got excited because I knew that they were up on us at one point. And then I, I remembered back and I was like, oh, like we beat them a couple yeah, of years ago. So, And we haven't played them since. This is our first time this year yeah, playing them. 2016 was the last time that Auburn won. I guess then, you know, 2016. That's the, that's yeah. The last time that's you guys played, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, you know, 2016. I, just, I, 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 I was thinking talking. like, man, Alabama is an absolute no. Yeah. Auburn's a no. I feel yeah. like it's not Kentucky because they've been around for a while. And I was totally wrong on yeah. Missouri because uh, Missouri's leading that one like 10 to 3 or something like that. Really? Um, so, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I knew it wasn't Missouri because when Missouri come into the SEC, they, they were dominating. And yeah. Yeah, they were they, pretty good. They put it on maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So. But, I mean, read us off. That was the fun. Then there. I bring home third place, five. Josh, I'm terribly sorry you brought home second place trophy. I was, up I was close. With an eight. And Blake brings home first place with nine points. I wish I could toss you a built bar for a trophy, but I kind of can't. <laughs> but um, congratulations, Blake.
I'll have to appreciate have to it. Get appreciate around it. since since you won, I guess I'll get around to finally sending your package down. Make sure I get that to you this week. But let's go ahead and give yeah, it like I'm, a big I'm, screen. Let's 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 give you, give yourself a little victory speech. I just, I just want to say, fellas, I'm a little upset because I feel like there were some freebies in there that I missed uh, with Heisman trophies. and, and uh, But, you know, hey, I pulled it out in the end. Uh, it was fun. I enjoyed doing it. Had a blast. Uh, and, and let's do it again. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, for us, for us to kind of jump on there and do it that way. Um, yeah, I mean, it was kind of something new, something a little bit of a mix-up. I like doing these every once in a while. It's kind of hard whenever we don't have – a full cast on here, but even just three of us, we were kind of able to make it make it work. Mm-hmm. Kind of squeeze that yeah. in there, make sure we were able to get ourselves a little bit of trivia, kind of fresh in our brains on what's going on in the college football world. Maybe not Current. currently, but yeah. it'll it'll kind of mm-hmm. remind us. Uh, we'll definitely be jumping more into college football a lot as we get closer to the season. We've got a lot on the slate, kind of getting us ready. We're going to go through some conferences and dive into the conferences and see what to expect in each conference. Uh, and some of the kind of unexpected in the conferences as well, because I think each tw- each uh, conference has their kind of unexpected team to, w- to watch out for. Um, but currently right now, we thank everybody uh, for watching this episode, for checking us out, for staying tuned with us and everything. We thank you so much for all of your support. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell if you want to know every time that we upload to YouTube. You can follow us on social media, and if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, or uh, Spotify, wherever you listen to, to our podcast, if you're listening on audio, uh, then make sure to give us a five-star review. That is the best way to help us out. Thank you all so much for all of the support that we've gotten. Uh, guys, we're up over 2,500 now. We just Ooh. mentioned 2,000 just a, uh, less than a week ago, and somehow we're up over 2,500. So we're growing, and it's a huge thanks to you guys for everything that you've done. Uh, but that's pretty much all we got for today. Uh, a, huge, a huge thanks to our, our sponsors. Uh, for everything that they've done to help us grow to this point. Until next time.